Reuben Carter, also known as the Hurricane, was born on May 6, 1937 in Clifton, New Jersey. He pursued his dream of becoming a professional boxer, but at the height of his career, he was charged for a triple murder in a grill in Lafayette. She sees a bartender in a pool of blood. Cries out, my God, they killed them all. Here comes the story. It wasn't only Reuben Carter that had been arrested and charged for a triple homicide. John Artis, Reuben Carter's friend, was accused for being an accomplice and was charged in jail for 14 years. To free Reuben Carter, a lot of supporters stood up to support him, such as Bob Dylan, writing the song Hurricane, and also prize fighter Muhammad Ali also joining to free Carter, along with leading figures. On November 7th of 1985, Hayden Lee Sarakin, a U.S. District Judge, handed down his decision to free Reuben Carter, stating that, The extensive record clearly demonstrates the petitioner's convictions were predicated upon an appeal to racism rather than reason, and concealment rather than disclosure. The state continued to appeal Sarakin's decision all the way to the United States Supreme Court until February 1988 when a Passaic County state judge formally dismissed the 1966 indictments of Carter and Artis and finally ended the 22-year-long saga. But Reuben Hurricane Carter is no murderer. Twenty years I've spent locked up in a cage, considered a danger to society, not treated like a human being, not treated like a person, counted 15 times a day. I serve my time in a house of justice, and yet there's no justice for me. So, I ask you to consider the evidence. Don't turn away from the truth. Don't turn away from your conscience. Please, don't ignore the law. No, em embrace that higher principle for which the law was meant to serve. Justice, that's all I ask. Justice. After Reuben Carter got out of jail, he's currently living in Toronto and he was the executive director of the Association in Defense of the Wrongly Convicted from 1993 to 2005. He also does speeches to Brisbane Convention Center and he wrote and published his own autobiography. And he has his own movie called The Hurricane. Dexter Bradley said I'm really not sure. The cops said a poor boy like you.